sometimes we want to find a tangent vector of length 1. This is called a unit tangent vector. So given a vector valued function, r of t equals f t, g of t, h of, h of t, with no cusps in a less than or equal to t less than or equal to b, this means that when I say no cusps, we mean the curve is smooth. That's another way of saying it. So the unit tangent vector for a given t is given by the unit tangent vector of t equals the derivative of r over the magnitude of the derivative of r. So let's try one. So here we have r of t equals 4 cosine t, 0, 4 sine t. So first we need to find the derivative, r prime of t. That is negative 4 sine of t, 0, 4 cosine of t. Then we need to find the length of r of t. So that's the square root of negative 4 sine of t squared, the whole thing squared, plus 0 squared, plus 4 cosine of t. Again, that whole quantity is squared. So we get the square root of, distribute this to 16 sine squared t, plus, that's just 0 plus distribute the squared, 16 cosine squared t. We can pull out the 16. So 16 times sine squared t plus cosine squared t. And hopefully you remember that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. So we get square root of 16, which is 4. So then we need to divide the derivative by 4. So we have negative 4 sine t, 0, 4 cosine t, all divided by 4 which gives us negative sine of t, 0, cosine of t. And let's say they asked us to evaluate at t equals 0. So we can do this. We plug in 0, so negative sine of 0. 0, cosine of 0. Well, sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So this is the unit tangent vector at t equals 0. Now let's have you go ahead and try one. We have r of t equals e to the t, 2 e to the t, and e to the 3 t. And we're evaluating at t equals the natural log of 3. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a try and when you're ready come back and look at the answer. So first we have to find the derivative r prime of t and that's e to the t 2 e to the t e to the 3 e to the 3 t. We need to find the magnitude of r of t that is the square root of e to the t squared plus, sorry, that's, yeah, uh, 2e to the t quantity squared plus 3e to the 3t quantity squared. So we get the square root of e to the 2t. Remember when you have a power and a power, we multiply. Plus, distribute the 2, 4e to the 2t plus distribute the 2. We have 9e to the 6t. So that gives us the square root of 5e to the 2t plus 9e to the 6t. And we can take out an e to the 2t. 
so we have 5 plus 9e to the 4t. And so we have e to the t square root of 5 plus 9e to the 4t. And we are dividing our derivative by that value. So we have this over e to the t, 2 e to the t, and 3 e to the 3 t. And we see that we can cancel out e to the t's, so we're going to get 1, 2, 3e to the 2t all over the square root of 5 plus 9e oops, to the 4t. And then let's go ahead and plug in our value. Natural log of 3 for t. So we're going to get 1, 2, 3e to the 2 natural log of 3 over square root of 5 plus 9 9e to the 4 natural log of 3 this gives us some messy algebra but we'll see we get 1, 2, 3 times 3 times 9 because e to the natural log of, remember our multiplication rule, so this is e to the natural log of 9, which is just 9. And the bottom, we have the square root of 5 plus 9 times 3 to the 4th is 81. So what do we get? We have 1, 2, 27 over the square root of... 9 times 81 plus 5, 734. So we can rewrite this as 1 over square root 734, 2 over square root 734, 27 over square root 734. And that is our unit tangent vector at the point natural log of 3.